Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Good afternoon, Howard Wig, Code Green, Think Tech Hawaii. Do we have the best of all possible worlds for you? Today, answer, yes. How about increasing the value of your home while your utility bill drops like a rock and your home is not only less expensive, it's generally quieter, cleaner, more healthy. Best of all possible worlds too. Describe this and more. I have two prime lending guests, Lisa Heinemann and Miss International herself, America Madrid. That is a remarkable name indeed. Welcome to the program, young ladies. Thank you for having us. And what we're going to be talking about is what I call a green mortgage. They, as professionals, call it something much more professional sounding than that. And what we're doing is including, generally in a loan for more home improvements, the measures that will reduce your utility bill now and forevermore. So let's bring up the first slide. And these ladies are with Prime Lending. And what is, let's, let's do the next slide to properly introduce them. I mean, this is, this is impressive here. This is renovation financing. Will somebody please tell me what renovation financing is? Renovation financing is when you finance not only the purchase of a home, but also um, the additional funds needed to um, increase your value with your solar or your solar water heater appliances, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So this would, up on the roof, include, say, a solar water heater and uh, photovoltaic panels. And what if the roof turns out to have some, some issues? This is an older home. So we can do any roof or roof repairs? Roof, roof repairs. And if you were to lay down a new roof, what color would you make it? White, definitely white. white. Or if white is not allowable in the neighborhood, as light colored as possible, because as you well know, if on a hot August day, you go up on a roof that is very dark and has a rough texture, and you take the temperature of the surface of that roof, what temperature is that? Over 100 degrees. Try 178 degrees is the highest we've gotten. Put down a white coating over that very same roof, white with, what's the secret ingredient? Titanium dioxide and your temperature will drop from 178 to? About 70 degrees. Uh, about 105, oh. 105. The delta T being? 73. 73 degrees. degrees, very good. And furthermore, there, that's not all. When you put photovoltaics or solar water heater on the roof, you're shading that portion of the roof. What temperature is that shaded part of the roof in relation to the ambient temperature outside? Well, it's gonna be lower. Could even be lower because there's a little breeze blowing yeah. through. So that's what you will pay for or lend up on the roof. What, what, uh, what sort of projects do you have going on inside the, the home? You can include other energy efficient um, repairs or upgrades, um, mm -hmm. add a solar water heater, um, Energy efficient appliances. Mm -hmm. And the does Energy Star mean anything to you? There are Energy Star rated appliances, and there's a certain company in town that will actually give you rebates when you purchase Energy Star appliances. And the name of that outfit is Hawaii Energy. Very good. So you're financing, but you're actually getting more money. For, for what you're, you're financing here. Yes. And when a homeowner has a vastly reduced utility bill, is he better able or less better able to pay his or her mortgage? 
Well, definitely better, Abel. Definitely better, because their cash flow is vastly improved. Correct. Very good. So why don't we go to the uh, next slide here. Okay. Renovation lending is growing. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, this, this comes under the heading of renovation lending. And next slide. Okay, somebody tell me about one loan, one closing. Why in the world would we want to do that when we're going green? One loan closing? Yeah. Well, because you're saving, um, you're saving money. You're mm -hmm. um, just like you're saving energy. Um, you also have more cash flow because you don't have to get secondary financing mm -hmm. um, t to uh, add any energy efficient upgrades. And if you did get secondary financing, something bad would happen to you. What's that? Well, well not you, necessarily. There's no. there's different options, but one of the benefits of one loan and one closing mm -hmm. is you only pay closing costs that's, one time. That's what I was yeah, referring right. to. You don't have to pay two, two closing, closing costs. costs. Yeah. In some cases, it does make sense to get a secondary, like a home equity line of credit also, though that may be the right option for someone who already mm -hmm. has a Good very point. low interest rate. So yeah. Yeah. that's what we do is we meet with people to find out what they are looking for, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the upgrades they want to have, they show us their construction contract, and then we find the programs that are available to them, discuss benefits and drawbacks of both ways to good, see which good works point. Yeah. yeah, Yeah, if you have a very, very low interest mortgage, by all means, you want right. to hang on to right. that. And then with a line of credit, you would draw down from that only as much as you needed. If you want, if you could do this only in increments, Correct. say your Energy Star appliances, and then you go up on the roof and so forth. Correct. You, you could uh, do that. Very good. And I did a good deal of searching of local banks because this makes so gosh darn much sense. Plus, I'm with the state of Hawaii, and the governor's goal, our goal, is 100% clean electrical energy by the year 2045. What if tens of thousands of homes took advantage of your offering and they retrofitted, retrofitted, retrofitted up on the roof and in the home? What would happen to the utility use, ele electrical use? Well, it would decrease. It would decrease. Uh, Hawaiian Electric supplies power by with different uh, power plants, some out on the Waianae coast, some by Pearl Harbor. And if you could just get a couple tens of thousands of homes to do what we're talking about, they could shut down the least efficient of their power plants. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be fabulous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and keep more money in their pockets. It's good for the, the whole economy. And Hawaiian Electric is steering in that uh, direction anyway. Yeah, and Howard, um, our loan programs are not um, limited to people that are purchasing. It's also available to folks who are refinancing Ooh. or folks with older homes, and maybe mm -hmm, they want to mm -hmm. make them energy efficient and take advantage of the rebates. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very good. I live in an older home. I, I can uh, speak from experience <laughs> that way. Why don't we go to the next slide? Oh. Somebody want to talk about this? Looks very nice. Ugly is not good. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, with the high cost of housing, it's mm -hmm. nice to live in a house that you love, mm -hmm. right? So um, in addition to all the energy efficient upgrades that you can do, um, there's other things that can be done too that also make the house look pretty. So mm -hmm. this is important also, right? But um, you can get new windows, um, you know, any of the things that you can imagine that you want to do to a home, we likely have a program that could work mm -hmm. out for it. Mm -hmm. so. I, I'm glad you mentioned the windows because especially, say, a south-facing window or a west-facing window, what happens at different times of the day to that window? The sun strikes it, and say it's your old single-pane glass. There's a certain amount of radiant heat that strikes that pane of glass when the sun's directly on it. How much of that heat gets into the interior with the single-pane? 87 percent. Wow. Now, if people wanted to do new windows, you would specify, because you're so Akamai, you would specify high-performance windows 
that can let in as little as 25% of the sun's heat. Wow. Isn't that nice? If they have air conditioning, they can drop that air conditioning use way, 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 way down. Or if they don't have air conditioning, they're going to be even more comfortable. So I'm glad you mentioned those, uh, those windows there. Yeah. And in addition to everything uh, looking nice and pretty there. Yep. yep. And also with low down payment options, um, there's, um, there's renovation programs available for government loans, including for veterans. Um, and conventional and, and even um, high balance or jumbo loans. Hmm. Sounds like I'd better <clears throat> jump in here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's exactly what, what I've got there. So why don't we move to the next slide, please? Okay, now here, the, this is where you ladies shine. Say, say <laughs> something about this. Well, you know, you may want um, the kitchen in the big picture but maybe you can only afford the kitchen in the um, little picture. Mm -hmm. So now you can help both, you know. I mean, you can buy the lower cost, you know, um, the lower uh, purchase price and incorporate the cost of the, the completed kitchen mm -hmm. um, and, ha you know, have both. Mm -hmm. You just got more house for less money. More house for less money? With energy-saving appliances. And I notice that this is a kitchen what is the biggest, well, the biggest energy user in a kitchen is a refrigerator, mm -hmm. believe it or not. Oh, here, here's a little factoid for you. If you trade in an old, old refrigerator for an Energy Star refrigerator of the same size, even though the new refrigerator has all the bells and whistles, what is the energy consumption of, say, a 20-year-old fridge versus a brand new Energy Star fridge? Oh, geez, it can't be good. It's you decrease your energy use by 75% wow. with all the bells and whistles. And there are now, we used to have stoves that had heating elements, and you'd turn the stove on and the heating element would get red. Now there's a new type of stove. Actually, it's been around on the market for some years now. What, what is that? C-O-N. V E C. Convection. Convection. What is the ratio of an old fashioned heating stove to a convection stove? Is it still 75? Yeah, it's, it's a significant decrease. Yeah. So, of course, when you're renovating your kitchen, you would specify okay. convection stoves. Yeah. Very good. So, let's go to the, uh, the next slide. We're moving right along here. Ah, benefits of renovation. Somebody wax eloquent about this. <laughs> well, the benefits of renovation, there's a lot of things, right? So you're going to be saving money monthly mm -hmm. on your mm -hmm. utility bills, right? Which helps you with the mortgage payment that you have. Mm -hmm. um, you can bargain by paying less than market price, meaning maybe you look for a house that needs some fixing up, right? Maybe it's got good bones, but it needs new appliances, it needs a new roof. And so you're not paying for the fact that someone went in and renovated it completely and is tacking on their fees for that, right? Mm -hmm. So it is possible to save money that way also. Um, and, and also while increasing the value of the home. Correct. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And maybe getting into a neighborhood that you was out of reach, you know, because of cost. Mm -hmm. You might be able to get into that neighborhood or get a bigger house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which People have their starter homes, and then as they have families, they, of course they want more square footage. Right. Yeah. And customizing it specific to your needs. So if yeah. you need, say, um, a handicap accessible bathroom mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that, you can get all these things done. Mm -hmm. Okay, well on that cheery note, we need to take a break. Code Green, Think Tech Hawaii, Lisa Heineman, and the international girl, America <laughs> Madrid, back in a minute. Hello everyone, I'm DeSoto Brown, the co-host of Human Humane Architecture, which is seen on Think Tech Hawaii every other Tuesday at 4 p.m. And with the show's host, Martin Despang, we discuss architecture here in the Hawaiian Islands and how it not only affects the way we live, but other aspects of our life, not only here in Hawaii, but internationally as well. So join us for Human Humane Architecture every other Tuesday at 4 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii. Hey, Stan the Energy Man here on ThinkTech Hawaii, 
And they won't let me do political commentary, so I'm stuck doing energy stuff. But I really like energy stuff, so I'm going to keep on doing it. So join me every Friday on Stand Energy Man at lunchtime, at noon, on my lunch hour. We're going to talk about everything energy, especially if it begins with the word hydrogen. We're going to definitely be talking about it. We'll talk about how we can make Hawaii cleaner, how we can make the world a better place, just basically save the planet. Even Miss America can't even talk about stuff like that anymore. We got it nailed down here. So we'll see you on Friday at noon with Stan the Energy Man. Aloha. Welcome back, Howard Wig, Code Green, Sync Tech Hawaii. My beautiful guest today, Lisa Heinemann and America Madrid of Prime Lending. And I believe this is the only lending institute in the state of Hawaii, and visitors, please correct me, I wish I were wrong, that specialize in green mortgages. And we have been uh, talking about green mortgages. And you offer seminars sometimes in your office. For some reason, the date August 21st comes to mind. What's going on on August 21st? Oh, we have a um, seminar for realtors who mm -hmm. want to help their buyers um, learn about um, not just the renovation program, but also um, from Hawaii Energy uh, about the rebates and mm -hmm. benefits mm -hmm. um, that their clients can get. And are you, you going to have anybody from the energy office there? Or? Yes. Uh -huh. oh, very good. Yeah. I, I'll recommend somebody for you. And. Your office is, we, we can do a little plug here, your office is located. <laughs> oh, was it on one of the slides, your office? I don't think so. It is. We're located in the IBM building. Mm-hmm. And the IBM building was designed by? This comes up every single time we talk to someone. <laughs> mm-hmm. Vladimir Osipov. There you go. Yeah. A Russian, ironically, he comes from a super, super cold climate. And he sees, as an architect, and he sees the potential for Hawaii in a way that the local architects did not. And around the IBM building is a, standing about three feet out from the walls, is a S-C-R-E-E-N. Isn't Same. there a screen outside? All kinds yeah. of patterns. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that's called the screen. The design. He's referring to the design on the outside of the oh, building. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the honeycomb. Yeah. Honeycomb. <laughs> we yes, call it the yes, honeycomb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the the purpose there was to make it a, a really outstanding building, and then a lot of the sun's heat gets reflected back instead of uh, penetrating the to to the to the wall. So that's a very appropriate that that you should be in the IBM yeah. building. Yeah. So I have before me something called residential green valuation tools. Is this something that you people use? We don't. We don't get involved in that part of it. Um, mm -hmm. Usually the contractors. So um, when when we do the loan, um, the borrower will hire a contractor, and mm -hmm. then they'll put together their wants and needs and determine what they get. So they mm -hmm. probably use that type mm -hmm. of thing. Okay. And what if a contractor doesn't use this? Well, our, when we order the inspection to appraise the home, um, mm -hmm. it's going to be ordered subject to the upgrades, and that's how it will be evaluated based on the completed um, um, repairs or upgrades. And this involves a, a checklist, I imagine. Check, check, check. This, that, countertops? Yeah, the appraiser yep. has a list of things that they review. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they'll, they'll take the construction contract, and mm -hmm. then they'll value it based on the after-improved um, the improvements that were made or mm -hmm. are going to be made. Going to be made, yeah. Correct. Which brings up the Hawaii Appraisal Institute. I have, uh, do you, how much sway do you have with them? I have offered to speak to them quite a few times and I've gotten zero response. We have no sway. <laughs> we, don't, we don't contact the appraisers directly. Oh, um, I think you're not right. allowed to. We're right. not allowed to, right. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't I, even I can, get to choose the appraiser, so I can it goes see through a rotating the, uh, the list. conflict of interest there. Yeah. So th then, in the abstract, don't you think it would be a good idea if, in the appraiser's checklist of looking for all the valuations and devaluations of a home that they include, Solar water heating, check. Photovoltaics, check. We do see Energy those. Star appliances. Hmm. We do see if there's solar. We do see that in, in the appraisal. Mm -hmm. 
And how are all appraisals like that? Do they all include solar well, water heating, photovoltaics, you know, just, just on the checklist? Not all homes have it. It's just mm -hmm. the, um, when you have your appraisal report done, they come up with their value, you know, they, they mm -hmm. compare it with other homes. So yeah, some have, yeah, some yeah. do not have. Mm -hmm. And so, again, I come back to the checklist. Aren't they either check, 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 or not, not check? Yeah. Yeah. And in that checklist, are, are Energy Star appliances included? I'm not sure how they rate yeah. the appliances that way, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. if there's a house that has inferior um, upgrades, like, you know, again, this should all come from an appraiser, not us, but sure, I mean, based sure, on sure. what we've seen, if somebody has um, a inferior condition, they won't get as high of a value as somebody who has a superior condition mm -hmm. or superior upgrades. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? And superior upgrades, because you people look for this, would include the, those energy efficient uh, appliances. Well, we don't require energy efficient appliances, but that would be, um, but we do see that there is a demand from a lot of our customers. Mm -hmm. They want it because they like mm -hmm. the decrease, but we don't require it. Yeah. But you certainly give it brownie points. Well, we don't, right? <laughs> but we do look at the overall, the appraised value. We do look at that. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. That is part of the evaluation, yeah, is whatever yeah. the total value mm -hmm. comes in. And this is something that's confusing to me. Apparently, even though you, you people are energy efficiency experts, you know the value. Well, well, we're not energy efficiency experts. Right. We're more, we, do, we do mortgages. Yeah. <laughs> no, we, finance. Depend, <laughs> we depend on experts like you yes. and mm -hmm. contractors mm -hmm. and things like that. But what we, what we do is we have products available so that people can upgrade their homes to be energy efficient, mm -hmm. I guess is what we should by, say. By, by products available, you mean there, there's option A, option B, option C? There's right. loan programs, correct. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Different yeah. loan programs that are available mm -hmm. that can accommodate those. And that, that includes, I think we had it in one of the first slides, you, you have a, a name for that, ener an energy efficient product? Well, there's energy efficient, there, there are energy efficient um, options available for almost all of our programs. Mm. So there's not just okay, one okay, program. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. Right. Yeah, I, I see and we that have in, several. In literature. We, yeah. yeah, we have quite yeah. a few. So, uh, can I, can you, when you're considering a, a client's uh, eligibility for a mortgage, can you factor in the fact that they have all these energy efficient features and say, ah, this person's utility bill is going to be very low, therefore they are more eligible for a loan? Or, or how, how does that uh, factor in? No, yeah. We don't actually take utility bills into consideration yeah. for qualifying for most loans, mm -hmm. uh, with the exception of VA does have um, a slot where we do fill that in. However, yeah. Yeah. Um, when we're meeting with our you know customers, um, it's not just what they qualify for, it's also what they're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. So if somebody is going to have a particular payment and they know that if they upgrade the property that their utility bills are gonna be three or $400 a month less, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. mentally that can help them to decide where, you know, what mortgage amount that they want to have, what loan amount that they want to have, mm -hmm. if that makes sense, you know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's not necessarily required by us, but it does help the customer to determine their comfort level. And that's really important too, not just what you qualify for, mm -hmm. but also what mm -hmm. you're comfortable with. I'm totally, totally yeah. aware of that. Yes, yes, yes. Makes complete sense. So anything else? You, you don't consider things like uh, trees shading property or? Not unless no. it's a hazard. If the tree is about to fall onto the roof and it gets pointed out by the appraiser, then we, we may have an issue with it. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those things we don't. Um, we, and again, we're not underwriters either, um, but in the general guidelines, um, typically that's not something that we, would, mm -hmm. we yeah. would know about unless it gets pointed out by, a home, you know, by the home appraiser. Yeah, we provide the financing options so we don't, you know, get into the specifics mm -hmm. with regards to, you know, the features. Um, the buyer has um, discretion on what, you know, they want to add or, mm -hmm. and they're not limited to just um, energy efficient upgrades. They can make other upgrades to the home sure, as well. Sure, sure. Cosmetic or repairs. Cosmetic, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. And the reason I'm asking is because 
a home that's at the, a portion of a home that's shaded by a tree mm -hmm. on a hot day is that say roof or wall or window is up to 50 degrees cooler because once the sun's heat strikes a surface, it builds up that's radiant energy and it just heats up like, like a stove there. So in our, I'm the energy codes guy and we very much uh, encourage in the energy code uh, sh shading in any way, shape or form. Well, we definitely want to include you in our um, educational seminars. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we do hope to have um, regular seminars for homeowners and, and uh, potential home buyers that want to learn about um, energy efficient upgrades. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. And then again, if we combine that with uh, Hawaii Energy being there. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, yeah. The more information, the better for the mm -hmm. consumer. Mm -hmm. And from a totally unbiased standpoint, I point out. Again, that not only is the home buyer better able to pay the mortgage, they have more free cash, and Hawaii's energy use just goes down, 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 down. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And for home buyers, you know, it opens up more options, more inventory mm -hmm. um, that they can potentially qualify for. Um, for sellers as well, it opens up more home buyer options, you mm -hmm. know, by adding. Um, you know, they can give credits, you know, for energy efficient upgrades. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It might help them sell their, their home a little bit quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking of the, the man of the house is probably going to be looking at the bills, 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 and the lady's going to be saying, oh, what a nice counter kitchen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of photovoltaics, do you uh, include uh, battery storage as that, or you haven't gotten, gotten there yet? Um, any features associated generally, mm -hmm. you know, with um, um, energy efficient upgrades is, is allowed. Mm -hmm. But it, it'll depend on the loan program. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We have very, various um, loan programs. Because that, that's the future now. It can't be just photovoltaics. You have to have storage there because we have so mm -hmm. many photovoltaics, we're kind of overloaded. The, the electrical circuits are overloaded with that. So we have to, in the middle of the day, put the energy down into those batteries right. and use them at night when we need them. But on that cheery note, it grieves me deeply to have to bid fond farewell to these lovely ladies, Lisa Heinemann, America, Madrid. Thank you so much <laughs> thank you, Howard. for thank you, attending. Howard. It's been a wonderful, enlightening program. And again, August 21st in the IBM building. It is, the space is limited, so, so it is RSVP, yeah. um, but we are happy to accommodate mm -hmm. as many. And if we have, um, if we don't have enough space, we're gonna be having more seminars Very coming. Very good. Okay, Code Green, Think Tech Hawaii. See you next time. <laughs>